As you enter workflow, you are greeted with the welcome page. It's a neat idea to use the steps area. Click the forward and back arrows to investigate the process. Move further up and you'll see the new milling and the new turning icons. And these will start workflow in either XY for milling or ZX for turning. I'm about to load a solid model, so I'll use the folder list. I'm going to navigate to a folder. This file in question is called Workflow Lave 2CY MMP Mod, and this can be found in the Tutorials folder. In this instance, I'll deliberately select the wrong file. To call in the correct file, I simply click the File menu, then Open, and then browse for a second time for the correct file. Remember, at any time you can use the online tutorial. Click the question mark symbol to access the tutorials. We're following workflow turning two. The file is now loaded in the background workflow will automatically attempt to align the model and set the datum. The datum is represented by the color marker. Let me draw attention to the component setup window. This is displaying live information about the part you may set the material type. This is used for tool selection and calculation of appropriate fees and speeds for cam cycles. You gain an instant understanding as to the proportions of the part when you view the part dimensions. And you may even alter the manufacturing environment by clicking the icon and notice that the part is realigned and the axis notification symbol is altered. To rotate your part, press and hold the right hand mouse button and move your mouse. To zoom in and to zoom out, take the mouse wheel and roll it forwards and backwards. And to pan the part, press and hold the mouse wheel and now move your mouse. Investigate the icons on the top left hand side of the view, in particular view orientation. Select a different view and observe how the model is manoeuvred into position. Using the setup window we'll now concentrate on the datum. Click flip the part, the solid model is rotated 180 degrees. You may rotate the solid body around the z-axis by clicking the arrow symbol. The c-step is currently set to 45 degrees. You may even move the part using the arrows, in this instance the part moves 10 millimeters, which is the adjustment increment setting. Click the datum radio button to reset the datum to the front of the component. You'll notice that the model will highlight as you float the mouse over its faces. When you press V on your keyboard, the feedback will extend, enabling you to verify the information of the solid model. You're now ready to move on to our next stage. Make sure you save the part.